Viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again. This is BVI Channel 1. We will tell you undiluted truth. And as it is coming from Dati, that man is exceptional. That man has sound mind. And a sound mind is fearless because you will stick to the truth and say it the way it is. As the man releases it, now so it be. You could have watched. Those who have argued differently ended up helping our case. Because they say that there is a certain ruling which says the FCT is a state. Good. FCT is a state. Where is the each of 25% for FCT? It is not there. That constitutional requirement has not been met. That certificate of return is null and void and cannot be sworn in as president. And let me tell you, the way they are going, disregarding the calls of the people, violating the constitution, let them even go ahead, even if they swear in Tinubu Shetima on 29th of May. They are swearing in an unconstitutional government. Nothing will change it. Um, I am not a careless, reckless speaker. I am working with the constitution there, that document right you just read. I'm following it. And I dare to tell you that swearing in Tinubu and Shetima is as good as swearing in the Nigerian army on 29th of May. If you swear in uh, people that have not satisfied the requirement, you have by so doing ended democracy. The crisis I'm telling you now is that this our democracy is going to end by the way we are going. This democracy is going to end on the 29th of May 2023. Please write it. Those are extreme, you know my those are extreme thoughts. I am uh, very, very happy to say it. No, you know no, my name. You know, you introduced me. Yeah. Listen, no, don't stop. Those are, no, 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 I, I will, because it, those are extreme thoughts. You know why? Because those, there, are, there are allowable language to be used on television, especially as it relates to our nation and the unity of this Put country. your question and let me answer you. Put no, your so, question. I know what I'm saying. If, if there is an official... If you breach and, the con Constitution... But it, it, is it not left to the court to decide otherwise? This is already decided by the courts. But the authority in charge of the election gave a declaration. Shall we? If, if you are afraid for some things, don't ask for them. I am not afraid. I will, no, then I will as a citizen mm -hmm. of the country, mm -hmm. by the ethics and the guidelines of my profession, yes. live by it. Yes. What is lawful? And I hope that you are a lawful citizen I of the country. A very, very and so whatever the stipulation one. of the law guides, that if you are aggrieved about something, you go to the court to seek redress, isn't it? This document is a product of the legal system. It has been signed into law by the uh, President, uh, uh, Commander-in-Chief, Federal Republic of Nigeria. I believe in this document. That is why I'm so lawful. That is why I'm so confident. And that is why, I'm, however extreme it is, Shion, I am saying it on national TV. I don't like to take risks. I'm not taking any risks. Swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirements of the Constitution, okay, is ending democracy. Quote me on it. That's, your, that's your interpretation. That is my it. interpretation. And that is indeed a correct interpretation. You cannot swear people who have not met the constitutional requirement. You can't do that. If you did it, you have done something unlawful, something unconstitutional. And I'm repeating it. Whoever does not meet the constitutional requirement must not, must never be sworn in. You said my name. If you like, I can say it again. I'm Dr. Baba Ahmed. I'm not taking risks with my safety and with my life. But I'm repeating swear in anybody who does not meet the constitutional requirements of our country, you are engaging in an unconstitutional act. Mr. President, do not hold that inauguration. CJ and your, your, your lordship, do not partake in unconstitutionality. I am taking these risks for the sake of my country. Yes, it is extreme, and I'm saying it. It was more extreme for Yakubu to issue that... Uh, uh, certificate. It was reckless. That was he is putting all our lives in danger. All of us were already at risk. So what is there again in me taking risks again? What have they not done against Nigeria? What have they not abused in Nigeria? Now they will take the constitution where it is clear. It says and get twenty four. After that and FCT. They fail to get it. They are going to swear this man in, and I should be afraid. I will not be. I am telling you that. On the 29th of May, 2023, swear in Tinimbu as this result is, you have ended democracy, whoever you are. That is the truth. And sometimes, like Sheung and all these journalists, you know, these secular journalists, 
that want to protect their job, their source of income after all. Yes, I understand that. They try to gag the truth. They use the media to gag the truth, to manipulate the opinion of the masses in order to keep them down. Thank God for people like this that are changing the narrative. That's why many people today are celebrating Rufai of Arise Television. Because the man is not just being a journalist, but he is bringing revolutionary mindset in the profession of journalism. To stick on the rules and be blunt with the truth. Because these are the things that they use over the years to gag the people using the media to manipulate the mind of the people, deform them in the name of information. You know information is power. But when you are wrongly informed, you'll be deformed. And that is what Nigerian media have over the years been good at. But thank God, the narrative are changing. Thank God, we are beginning to see and understand what an illegitimate government would be. A government that will be sworn in, that have not met with the constitutional requirement, they will say, go to court. Let the court interpret. We are putting the court and the judiciary under trial. Let them do otherwise. Let them do otherwise. Then they will, will know who actually is threatening the democracy of Nigeria, if Nigeria have won. Because these politicians, they care about nothing. They are the ones setting this country ablaze. They are the ones promoting anarchy. They are the ones who have done everything wrong to destroy Nigeria. I know some deluded minds will say, hey, let Nigeria be destroyed. Let Nigeria be destroyed. Who do you think will be the victims? You think they are these politicians? No. The answer is capital no. You will be the biggest victim. You will be the biggest victim. Go and check it anywhere and everywhere it happened. The ordinary people will be the victims. They will be the ones to die. Their properties will be the ones to suffer, to be destroyed. While these politicians have already had a safe heaven. That's why we are looking for the best alternative to solve the problem of every Nigerian that had been held to, to ransom hostage by this criminal element in power so it is important you understand the process and don't be carried away with emotion i'm just a voice i'm an advocate for good governance i am not a promoter of anarchy and i believe in due process in achieving everything that you are agitating for because the freedom of the people is paramount and I stand with it, and I stand by it. I'm committed to this project. Help me share this video and show solidarity to Baba Ahmed Tati. That man, he said it the way it is, and that is where millions of Nigerians stand. I'm signing out. Help me share this video, my people. Drop your comment. I want to have your opinion on this. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>